Collegiate Aces Series. It's me, Arbiter, and I'm Zenrek. I got it this time. I got it this time. I got you. I got you. And That's called banter, you guys. Great. Come on, we got it, bro. We're, we're working up the synergy, but we, we hope you guys are having a great time right now. Today, we're going to have another awesome crew battle. Tenric, who are we going to see face off here in the winner's bracket right here? Right? No, not winner's bracket, but with wins under their belts right here right now. This is going to be a really awesome match this time, Arbiter. We're going to see Wichita State take on Western Colorado University. I'm particularly excited to watch this matchup because we saw a tear on by uh by bolts from western colorado university going on a nine stock rampage last week but wichita state didn't even have to get to five players last crew battle they only used three yep. Igrasil and Lindy combined took 13 docks seven and six respectively and so i am more geared up to watch wsu because we haven't even seen all the tricks they have up their sleeve yet yeah man it's gonna be absolutely insane so you guys definitely don't want to go absolutely anywhere these players are going to be absolutely um just wild one thing i'm excited to see i want to see lenny you said this already i want to see lenny i love mega man to death the super fighting <laughs> robot i love him so much love that character but at the same time we could i want to see lenny versus bolts that'll be a match that'll be a match bro that no that'll be a really exciting one a match of of zoning I mean, I don't want, I don't want to sound scummy, but it's a match of zoning. Uh, I just think throwing, throwing I, a lot at each other in different ways, I guess. <laughs> it might be a zoning match for Min Min, but I think Mega Man has to approach way more. You think That's what makes you'll think he'll have to approach? I mean, I guess so. I, I just, I don't know if Linny is going to find the right timing for that approach is what scares me more than anything else. But who knows? Yeah. We might match him at all. We Maybe Bolt yeah, isn't here. Maybe Linny's going to go off and not even take a stock this time around. You never Maybe know when these new teams take each other on and we don't even know who's gonna go first this time yep but well, wonder who, wait who's oh, who, let me see hold on I'm trying, to see who, trying to think who could go in first maybe uh the Greninja like we saw last time forgot his name Yggdrasil right Yggdrasil, we Yggdrasil is him, the opener we could see him go yeah. first last time because he did a really good job of just opening up right Greninja's a really good like space setter you know what I mean oh, and yeah. are we correct oh. no no it's gonna be Deekster again Interesting. Let's see how this works. Yeah, Thank Deekster. You like... Oh, what? Uh, no, no, sorry. I was just gonna say Deekster, who is from uh, West or West Colorado University, um, was on the Wario last time and did take three stocks. Meanwhile, Shufel from Wichita State is one of the players that we actually haven't seen yet on that tomb link. Yep. I'm trying to see what is what could the matchup be here right now for. Tim Lee could definitely like wall out Wario, mm -hmm. but um, the fact that 87% is tacked onto him right now, really all he needs is a good forward air, um, boomerang the forward air, and that is going to be absolute, you know, death for the kid, boomerang, weird angle, but oh, that did, that was on purpose, I'm going to just say it, that was on purpose, <laughs> it wasn't, but that was on purpose, good retreating forward air, knowing that, hey, I can, you know, release some stage control and get a kill if I need to, but Deekster now has him against the ropes, back here, could kill him right here, right now, Tim Lee is really light, Plus, those yeah. blast zones on the side are really small. Let's see how will Deekster be able to, you know, approach this matchup and somehow get into the game. Yeah, Toon Link just needs to get in reach, and you can do it with a good move like that. That's a solid start off to things. I mean, both of these players, they're, they're really quite vulnerable at the moment. Uh, Shuffle, because he's light and, uh, like you said, a back air can take things to a whole new level. But Deekster is already at 146. I mean, a well-timed up B or... Even a forward air, if you play your cards right, can, can finish things off. Or, I mean, a back air, actually, if that's less consequential. From the middle yeah, of the stage, that, actually does survive there, though. Yeah, as you say that, he oh. does go to the back. I'm not going to get the kill, but that back row is going to be a whole other story. And I want to say, these players are both really even. These players both know what they have to do to get in. It's just who can play it better. That was so smart. The down air just, you know... Did some damage if he got the hit, but unfortunately, he will get Buenos Dias Mandy with that side tilt and get the stock, but it is going to be even, right? That's what makes Deekster such a problem. If he's not going to let you just run all over him, and he also has a block, and you do not want to get hit by that. If you know, you know. Always play like you're down a stock when you're playing against a Wario. Yep, that yes, is the yes, M.O. Yes. When yep. you are playing against this character, he is always a threat. That waft is always looming, even when it's not at full charge. But right now, it absolutely oh, is. Deekster is. is ahead in percent, ahead potentially in stocks. And 
Uh, Shubal doesn't have a waff on charge last time I checked, and so Deestra's ahead in that department too. Oh, he's fine, right? Yeah. He's yeah, he's he's gonna get back on for sure. But that's the hard part is like, can he he can get back to the ledge, but getting back on stage is like a battle in itself after you recover properly. And Deekster, yeah. I mean, even if he does get on top, then Deekster's just gonna ladder or combo you right over to the other side of the stage, or he can just launch a forward tilt and do it in one move. Woo! That was oh. smart from that landing Mutsular. Just yeah. say, get back to where you started. And the amount of stage control that um, Deekster has on top of Shoop. Is it Shoopy? Shoop? I'm gonna say Shoop. Yeah. I'm gonna say Shoople. That's what I'm, that's what oh, I'm going oh, for. I, okay. Shoople? Yeah. Shoople, yeah, he's kind of in a really bad spot. Not able to gain any sort of, like, stage control. Going for these projectiles, but that's going to be death. But no, the boomerang saves his life. Going for the double roll. That's what I do all the time. It's Link Habit, I swear to God. But forward tilt gets him with the blender. Not going to get the kill. But puts him in a really good spot. Finally has some control of the stage. I love how Shubal's just refusing to die right now. And he's and he's and he's keeping it like a step-by-step -step process as well. He knows that stage control is practically never gonna be his. So he's not he's not kind of he's not sort of wasting his time going for that stage control. He's just going for the times that he can move in, get the damage, get the moves, and 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 take that space where he can. Because of that, he's staying even right now. Deekstra hasn't found a proper time to use his waff. He's probably waiting until he's maybe needing to come back from behind, but Again, Shupal is at a point where he doesn't have to really worry about that. Okay, Shupal is going to die now. Again, 147%. Deekster, this is the point where you really have to start looking out because Deekster yeah. could get a WAP combo in and kill you really early, keep it a 2-0, and in a crew battle, that could be massive. Yeah, he's, he might go for... Oh, 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 man! Oh, that, that was it. Li yeah, okay. That was the that one. He could. I mean, he could pull off another right now. He's still at pretty low percent. Yeah, the, 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 what makes Waft's percent so dangerous is it's super low. It's, it's low-key high as well. You get to 100 and low-key, you're not even out of it. You're, you can, it's harder, but you're not out of the combo. The higher percent you are, the, just the little bit harder it is to get the combo. Oh! oh. He's small, he's small, he's no. small, he's small, he's small. Two Link is tiny, Two Link is tiny, he's a child. He is tiny, he's a child, that's why. He barely got away from it due to the small size of the kid, but now... It's still gonna be a hard battle. That back row definitely would have killed it. Looks at 191, bro. You wouldn't even see him fly. You wouldn't even just realize. I just realized Shoop was playing from Wind Waker. Deeger, Deek's just playing a Wind Breaker. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. He's trying to. He's trying to force. Oh, Blender? Not gonna get it, bro. 201 percent, by the way. Deeks is still not dead, and he's racking 94 percent. He doesn't even need a fort here. They just throw him. Ooh, forward smash him. Back yes. air him. You could, yeah, you could get a back air here from the side and, and, and finish things off right now. Or even a back throw from ledge, honestly, my kill. Yeah, and this is so sad because Two Link oh. is out of like that depth. Oh my gosh. That move is super weak. And that move is only cycle. meant for like. Yeah. Dude, that's I, bad. I mean, that, that motorcycle is like one Steve block, but against Two Link, that's kind of all he needs. There's the back air. And Deekster will keep two stocks alive. What a massive, I mean, that's such a clutch display there from WCU. And that is what what's tragic. Shuffle isn't even bad. He just no, got absolutely not. He just no. He just really didn't have the the tools to you know maneuver around a lot of what Wario wants to do. Wario has a really exactly. good airspeed. Wario gets around really quickly with his great horizontal movement. And if if you have the tools to deal with that, then yeah, you're fine. But I think Toon Link's projectiles are just a bit too slow and a bit too narrow. To get what he needs done plus he wasn't able to get those confirms that he needed at a higher i mean earlier percent yeah this is uh, it's, it's kind of sad kind of sad but we see him go for that oh man then, yeah even, that was it was it like an air dodge or was he just too tiny yeah he he, 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 he air dodged, dodged away. It, he yeah had, he had time he had time i think the window was a bit higher but hey who cares right he he didn't lose a, a, a second stock he exactly had, yeah he still got it done too. exactly these are still no carried walk, out the bro. job now it's 14-12, WCU in the lead. A question once again resides on Wichita State. Who are you going to bring out? That was another new player. That was a new player that we saw. There's still the three that we know about in Linny, Yggdrasil, and N-City that are potentially on the table here. And, of course, you still have one more member that we haven't seen yet or even some subs. So we might see more than two new members from this roster so far. I, I think that uh, that Shupal was a great first addition, though. Yep. Trying to see. So N-City is also like you said really just 
They so took two stocks off. They were yeah. N City was the finisher in their last crew battle. That's why you only got two stocks off. I think you can do a whole lot more than just take two. Yeah, let's see who could potentially Wario with two stocks. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to think. I hmm. think Yggdrasil is a solid move here. I mean, he was the entry tool for WSU last time, and he wreaked a lot of havoc. You have that advantage of knowing what you're going against before the fight starts this time. I think Idrisil can get a really solid snowball going. I think you're right, too. You don't really got to worry about Wario's movement as well yeah. due to the fact that Greninja also has good movement, right? Also, you have the Water Shurikens. You have the Side B. So really, all you got to do is just, you know, place everything correctly, and you should be good to go. That's it. Yeah, I, I, I do think that... Greninja might be the best move, but of course, there's a lot in this bank for WSU that we probably know nothing about, and so we may not be the primary sources for this. It's up to Wichita State. They have a lot in their kit. Let me check how many uh, how many subs they have, actually, because I'm not even sure, because, yeah, they also have two subs in Sloth Palms, and there it is. So we may see either of those two guys as well if maybe, you know, Linny isn't feeling up to it today. Maybe he's, like, wreaking havoc in the singles bracket that WSU happens to be holding at the same time of this crew battle or something like that. We can't know for sure until these guys step into the ring, which I hope they do soon because I'm, I'm really trying to keep stalling, but it's getting harder and harder. Um, I'm trying to think of what else could possibly be done to Wario because, okay, so we have Yggdrasil. That could happen. Yggdrasil's a sh Maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, what's up? No, it's just, yeah, never mind. Nothing. <laughs> we just got alerted that uh, Yggdrasil's pronouns are she, her, so... Oh, she heard. Gotta... I'm sorry, I did not. No, there we go. No, okay. I mean I didn't either. No, uh, it's 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 funny. In in first in FPSs, I have to get used to to kind of they theming it all the way across for everybody, yeah. just so it's it's, it's less toxic to assume. And of yeah. course, as time goes on, again, you know, we'll we'll definitely get the pronouns online. Apologies for to Igrisil yeah. and WSU for that, but I think that might be proof that Igrisil is gonna be the next player online. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe maybe that was a hint. That was probably a hint. Greninja is the Greninja is, gonna come into play? That's what that's that's pretty much just a big question at hand. Um, like I said, she doesn't really have to worry about. Oh, no, it's that city! Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna have Palu. Palu does well against Wario because, like we said, right? Wario likes to move a lot in the air. Guess who else likes to do that? Palu, and I think Nair does. Joy's air movement for a combo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Casual air movement, just like that, right? Back air, neutral air. Good cool. that just Pokemon has to just stuff out anything that Wario has to offer. I mean, here's the thing is, is as long as D-Star doesn't allow the startup, then Entity will have a problem. But when you're Palutena, startup is like the least of your concerns because it's so yes. easy to get that startup going. That being Good said, Deekster can cycle through a lot of his attacks and, and just get a lot of damage by, by, you know, going into a routine. And you see that here. You know, he's launching a cycle, then he's launching a back air, then he's maybe throwing an up tilt in the mix the second that NC tries to approach. And he's making up a solid amount of ground, but at the same time, he's got double the percentage that NC has right now, and he's also a stock behind right now. Yeah, and this is a huge problem. The issue with Palo isn't that, you know, her startup, that's not the issue, it's the range, right? I think Wario might have slightly, not better range, but the tools to contest. Oh, not, not that backer. That backer right. is going to be an issue no matter what you're doing. <laughs> like, no matter what, that backer is completely invulnerable because it is a shield, but that's one thing. Good read off the landing with that dash attack. I want to say, Easter has really good movement, but not a good recovery as that's up. It's just not going to do, it doesn't have the vertical, you know, movement. It's where he needs to go and forth and release, but not gonna be out of the woods just quite yet if he can just low-key delay to get art powers i think he could definitely take you know two socks not one i think he could take two because he could take a stock naturally with the back air or a, a force smash or a down air even or you know a bike palu's not heavy at all she is a goddess of light for a reason but the moment he does that and look at that we're going brown already so do what you gotta do don't click with that back air because it's gonna be hard he has good movement but not only that, N City has good movement as well, not making it easy for him to get what he needs to get started. I mean, you gotta remember, Deekster's already taken three stocks here, so he's already proud of what he's gotten done for WCU. But that being said, against Palutena, any stock is a good one. 126% here, Deekster can still keep a gap going, make it a 12-11 game, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. Yep. Okay, fart. All right, now you gotta get it. You now gotta you get gotta it right fart. now. Now you gotta now fart. Now you gotta fart. Now you gotta fart. 65. Like, Ooh, no. he's gotta get in. Oh! 
He's going for the startup. There it is. There it is. Up air oh, into no. it. Oh, no, he blocked it. That actually might be better for more damage ramp here. That's 59 into the dash attack. Now she's off stage again. This is a looming threat that Deke's just keeping on. This is massive. Yeah, and the thing is, right, I think he went for that combo because he knows he did the higher damage. There, oh. there, there it is. That's it. Punish That's two. Landing. That's Punish five for Deekster. Yeah, punished the landing with the back air, knowing that they were getting a little bit too overzealous with it. Saw the opportunity, armored through the back air as well. That was close. That, that hitbox is like really actually, low, really low actually. The fact that he didn't get hit by that slope is kind of luck. But good stuff coming on to Deeks, man. He said, even though I might have one stock, I'm not going out into the light without anything taken from you. So, Bruce Lair again, 127. Explosive flame recovers high. Good option. A lot of play, what people don't utilize is that you can recover high to avoid certain scenarios. Yeah, Warren go into that light. He's seeing enough light in this one fight. He doesn't need to go anywhere to see all the light that he wants to. But I doubt he wants to see that much as he's at 156 Five. now. 32 on N City. Deekster has to play this range so much better now. Keep N City on the ledge as much as possible. Otherwise, this could prove to be extremely Ooh. catastrophic for the remainder of that. Stock, I, I realized though. something. I yes. realized something. Do tell. Yeah, never mind. Okay. <laughs> do you, do, are you just not going to say it now? I was gonna say, Deek, what is doing is he is punishing N City's landings really well. Mm -hmm. He was reading that, okay, you're gonna go for like these heavy landing options. He's gonna pussy it, get a dash attack, or hell, even bike it. And then once you're in the air, you can't really do much besides like, you know, try to nail yourself backwards or recover or air dodge your way to safety. So good stuff coming on to uh, Deekster. It's just that N City will move on. But dude, the waft and the natural stock, taking two stocks, he went more than them. Oh, that's right, and he did SD. He did yeah. SD, so, you know, he, he took his own stock. He wanted to, you know, be hitting all about it. So, good stuff coming on to him, man. Deekster's a problem. That boy Deekster is a problem, bro. Look at that. Yep. When it's the back air, you're doing it way too much. Stop that. Go press some buttons. Yeah. I Here's the here's the thing. is, is Palatine is on that one stock now. End City. He was he was, he was was kind of your, your closer last game. So, I, you know, seeing him in the middle now. Playing against Deekster, he's definitely. I mean, they 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 they've, they've, they've definitely got Palatina down pat for sure. They've got the fundamentals down. They they know what they're working with. However, they are still two stocks behind in this crew battle. And again, it rests on WCU to pick a counter after Deekster has burned away five stocks. I mean, that is an impressive feat. That waft finisher. Oh, that was just mwah. Chef's, that was chef's kiss. That was gorgeous. I cannot wait to see Deekster on WCU play more. I mean, man, every time you talk about somebody from WCU, it's just they are so dangerous. Yeah, definitely, man. But hey, we got to see who could be going in next. Wario is now out of the picture. So you, got, could... you got Min Min, you got Pokemon Trainer, you got Piranha Plant, and you got Youngling from what we've seen from WCU. And no, honestly, you know. I don't like any of those going against Palatin, except maybe Min Min for Volts. But again, I don't know if Min they want to... Min they want to save that for their closer again or uh, like if they want to give us a show again you, you know, know who could look at work who, who could look work? Theor theoretically um I, plant I mean yeah this is this is the one stock you need to take from palatina so. actually plant plant or ivy school hypothetically let's, 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 say, let's say let's say hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, <laughs> hypothetically like, speaking I, that you're as I think, attached, that you're garbage i think <laughs> just play up pt and i think pt actually does really well against follow right because ivy soul has nair um, so if you try to see you no know, combo, you could just do that. You could stay Squirtle to avoid like getting hit by those. If your Squirtle is good enough, you can you know hit Palu for free. <laughs> well, and if she well, goes for I, Nair combo, I do have to interject on that because Rick I John remember, on I the remember. Pokemon Trainer last time, yeah, they st he stayed on Squirtle for way too long. He got punished for it, and I, I just don't think that Squirtle got enough connection. Oh, but instead, it's Jug. a new face, Jug from this WCU works. on the sheet. This works. This works. Like, really. You think this works? This is a really good pick, yeah. Oh, oh. come on, come on, fish. Oh, courtesy, 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 courtesy. What is oh, wrong with you? Oh my God, charge yo controller, dog. I'm about to call like. Uh, <laughs> I'm calling CPU controller protect CPS. I'm sorry, controller protective services. What are you doing? But Sheik is really good in this. I think Sheik does just fine in this matchup. Yeah. Um, you know, no damage, but hits follow a lot. That's all you really need. I yeah, I think this matchup is like perfectly acceptable, especially if you're just trying to finish off that one stock. Even though Sheik is memed to hell and back as, as not exactly being like the poster child of finishing stocks, 
If you need to take one reliably and efficiently, she can do it if you have a good player behind it. And Chug has a team like WCU behind their back, so I got good faith in it. Yeah, and when I was the crew battle back in the SCS, that meme was more than alive, right? Not only is it online, in a crew battle where you're just supposed to take stocks as fast as possible, Seek just doesn't do that. And we're great to see it kind of come into play here right now. Oh, man. Four percent. Not getting much of the only 35 on to end city Chug. She has to find a way to secure this stock ASAP. Chug is living in fear right now, and end city is That's playing it off to their heart's content. I mean, he, they're just playing Chug off of the ledge. That's all they really had to do. They've used a down tilt and up smash, a side, like, it doesn't matter where Chug is, they're usually over by the edge of the stage, which is perfectly okay with NC, because you can ramp up even easier with some damage from there. I mean, Chug is already behind again, 67 to 44% right now. Chug hasn't had a solid follow-up so far. I don't know what that was. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just online. Up to, maybe that's it. Uh, up oh, till no, he makes it back, he makes it back, he makes it back. Yeah, Palu, Palu's recovery is just fine. Even when she like teleports, she has a little animation where she like kind of floats up. Good leg coverage with the play grenade, but not gonna do much. Is that, that another? Oh my Why gosh, that dude. Why that that's, that's ridiculous. And City, I mean, it's not even N City at this point. It's just, it's like Palutena and N City is just kind of sitting in uh, the passenger seat, honestly. Just watching the game more than playing it in my opinion but it, it's working it's how you play palatina a lot of the time especially if you're trying to save your one stock and n-city is playing it to perfection potentially gaining the lead back here for wsu yeah if they can take this one stock they're gonna be like eating phenomenal only takes two percent as well and that damage is only gonna attack on and even here. when she even when she hits palu right you're only taking like four percent in exchange like uh, to, to be to be honest <laughs> no like, you're absolutely right i think it's like literally four percent on most attacks honestly. like he does like a four there you're taking like what three percent like yeah you'll 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 be fine so be a okay that back here is nutty though and city is so comfortable using it again and again it's it's like a it's a clean 85 85 and this Ooh. is last stock territory good up smash catch from chug but of course it still does not kill unfortunately man that's just it's all it's so painful to watch that just not kill and that I, 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 well. yeah and chug can get a shield bash oh no was that a win box no he he went too low um what oh you think he just aimed too low on the retreat he tried to teleport to the ledge he just aimed too low mm, unfortunately that's so tragic all right well end city Along with WSU, do have the lead back. It's now 10-9. So Western Colorado, they did not find the answer to that this time. It was definitely a matchup that we can perceive as something close, but Chug just could not get a word in edgewise, I think. Yeah, that was just no nothing in the neutral favored him at all. Exactly. Or them, I'm sorry. No no nothing just favored them at all. Like neutral airs, she can't really get in against Palu. That explosive flame, just, yeah. Just so many things that she wants to do in this matchup. I just think Paulo can cover, so why do we gotta see that again? We we we, we, we watched it once. We didn't gotta see it again. Oh no, <laughs> no, no. So right, don't do it to him. Sheik things happen, and they were really good too. They're real. I can tell that they have like a good understanding of what Sheik is supposed to do. It's just that N City is just a monster in their own right. So that's just how it works, yeah. unfortunately. Well, the monster will continue its rampage as. There's <laughs> there is another member of Western Colorado that they have to fill in. Three more players that need to be burned through in order for WSU to take their second dub of the series. But Western Colorado, as we've seen, they still have some crazy, crazy players up their sleeve as well. I mean, you could really, you could still pull out, like we said, the Min Min. You could pull out the Pokemon Trainer again if Rick John is feeling like switching to Ivy Sword at any point in time. Hell, I would settle for a Piranha Plant at this point. The Fatui could really do a finisher, uh, get get a finisher early in the in, in a stock. Mm -hmm. I I just say go straight to Palu, not Palu. I'm sorry, uh, PT. PT is just the killer. I think PT is just like what you need to kill if you if you have to. So yeah. I just say go for that. Don't waste time and do what you got to do. Yeah, Rick John just has to manage their cycle if if, if they can uh, at least you know get through that one stock, and then when they get countered by wichita state when the next fight comes rolling around they have to continue that cycle etiquette they they have to make sure that they know when they need to swap it doesn't matter if you don't get enough connection off of one character you have to move to the next one to stay intact rick john failed to do that last time we saw him play 
This time, I think we'll have a little more luck because it's just that one stock you need to burn down and then it's going to be a clean fight the next way through. But again, we don't know if that PT is going to show up. Instead, it is going to be Eel Mail, who was that Piranha Plant last week. That works. Piranha Plant could do fine. Um, if you get hit by an explosive flame, the Fatui will save you. You have down B to potentially save you as well. So you have a lot more options than I think Sheik does. I'm not saying that in a mean way. I think Sheik doesn't have that much options, but Piranha Plant does have the kill power to really just up row at a high percent could do the deed if you do everything correctly. The problem with that is you're still trying to kill Palutena, and that can be such a chore regardless of who you end up picking and plant. She's very heavy. She can, be, she can be very easy combo food. She doesn't have a lot of get-out-of-jail-free cards, save for that Nair, which may be helpful if she's landing. But beyond that, I mean, the tools that you have to fight anybody, especially Palutena, can feel really limiting sometimes. And so if Eelmel just uses P P uh, uh, Piranha Plant properly, then it'll work out. But it's very hard to use Piranha Plant properly. Yeah. Oh, and you maybe we can chop this up to character and experience, right? Maybe MC Possibly. doesn't know how to deal with this character. Uh, <laughs> a Prana plant, shout out to my boy Skeeto. He said he told me he's like, oh, the reason why I win with plants sometimes is because no one knows what the hell they're doing with the character. Like, you don't see this character all that often. Also, I did forget all he does is reflector. And he's cope. Yeah, just, just cope. 55%. That's true. Yeah, that, that's probably the scariest thing that uh, that Eelmail has to look for is going to be that reflector. Because, I mean, that poison is going to do far nothing. Sits around for a long time, doesn't go anywhere, which means you have ample time to downbeat it and claim any amount of territory that Eelmail takes for yourself if you're end city. Finally, a, tri a trifle of damage onto this Palutena, but it's only 18 and no combo, no territory, no sort of pressure is given off of it. That down be solid and the Patui to cover your tracks. This is how Eelmail needs, needs to play if they want to get the job done, but the collateral is really scary as he's already at 114. The question is, is it's not if Eelmail can win, it's can he take a stop, right? Yeah, That's exactly. Like, oh, fire boots, grass, not gonna kill just quite God. yet. Oh, really man. heavy character. Oh, that's, there it is, another one. That's yep, not that's another help. stock. No, 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 no. And yeah, City, so. uh, that is that is seven stocks, I believe. That is going to be seven. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. They're, no, yeah, I think you're right. It is seven. They're going crazy. Damn. Oh, drop down. Oh, oh. oh no, it's not seven. That... It's, not, it's not seven. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Somebody else came in before End City, but I mean, I, wanna, I saw. A lot. I saw what could have been like the craziest read of the millennium. He went for an up smash and just didn't get what he needed to get the kill. That's so unfortunate, but hey, you know what? That's just A-OK. -okay. There's that up there coming out, 76 on to and City. This is brutal right it's, now. Uh, it's free damage half of the fight. I mean, he, like, and City can throw a neutral B and then a side B and another side B and then get 30 damage regardless of where and City or, or where, where Eomel is standing. Because then you can rush in with a back air or neutral air if you shield it. it it's such an impossible thing to try and oh. run off of. Even if you're, especially if you're as slow and as heavy as Piranha Plant is. Yeah, Plant, like, you, you just kind of can't land. You can land with the yeah. two, you can land with down B, you can land with that. That's kind of the closest thing you're going to get to, you know, trying to land. Oh, he went for the setup run up. Up throw was not going to kill, though. That's the issue. And Plant's projectiles are really stationary. Plant, actually, in general, is a really stationary character, so that's kind of like the big issue here. There, there it is. is. No, okay. I'm about to say, no way. But even so, N City took two stocks before that fight was done, and so it's gonna be, it's nine to seven now. WCU has, uh, has once again still lost the lead, uh, and, and, uh, yeah, and Wichita State, they still carry themselves high. They walk into this next fight with whoever they want to use to counter this, uh, this, Piranha Plant, which, again, can be either of the players that we haven't seen yet that we saw last week, a.k.a. Yggdrasil and, uh, and Linny, um, or it can be, again, somebody completely new. Yeah. Jeez. Sorry. That's, that no, was, it's fine. That was brutal. That was some... I mean, that, I mean, that DI almost saved and City as well. That was... Oh, man, that was close. That was really close. Man, it yeah, it took a second. Yeah, Fraud just said it's just like Smash Four launch. That's uh, that's absolutely right. It was just, it, like it, 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 it it's like time stopped for a moment. But Eelmail could savor that one stock that was taken thanks to that slowed down stock taken. So you could you could you can 
you can call that victory a little sweeter. But now Eomel is sitting at only one stock left, defending these last few members of Western Colorado against three fully kitted members of Wichita State, one of which we are about to see take over this game. Exactly, man. Let me just move real quick. Blah, blah, blah. Hold on. What are you doing, Arbiter? Stuff. <laughs> just some stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking to see like who they could have next. That's like the thing I'm like. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I, I mean, look, it's it's send it's out, a plan, you know? Lenny. Send out Lenny. Send All right, yeah, out. I think Lenny's a perfectly solid choice, not just for the one stock in the piranha plant, but for the rest of this game. Honestly, if you send out Lenny now, he could probably burn through the rest of Wichita State. I have like or, or Western Colorado or Yeah, Western Colorado. I have no I like I, I have I have every bit of confidence that Lenny could just finish this off right now. Even against Colts. Yeah. Pretty much. No, it's gonna be there it is. Okay, there it is. Is one of the subs for Wichita State. So we haven't seen them yet, but it's gonna be another link, this time a young one. Ooh, okay. How do you pronounce that Roll name? The young there, one, it, there it is. There it is. Okay. I like that name. There it is. All right, he's got to find one stock, but Eomel is going to do all they can to try and equalize this and keep it from being a full one-person deficit in this crew battle. But, oh, man, so many projectiles can just come out. This is as brutal a fight to watch as the one versus N City, but it's in a different manner, the brutality. Yeah, the thing is, right, I think Young Link can definitely deal with Piranha Plant mm -hmm. with someone putting that down B. Uh, there's the bomb. Has the patchouli forwarder? Oh, he almost S deep there. That could have been yeah, really scary. But yeah, with the fastball, a little too heavy. Almost been too hard in the paint, but you know they're doing just fine. A lot of projectiles can keep getting launched, but I will say, Eomel is getting their licks in sometimes. Those heavy attacks are really coming into play and playing a little bit of catch up there. The down B especially, I think, will be a great tool at this late portion of this stock that he's taking. And the Petulia, of course, great coverage in this aerial game, which he's having to take more and more. Oh, almost a fall off. That would have been really funny if that managed to hit, but a great turnaround into the tilt. We'll keep the space going the way of eel mail. And I mean, here's the thing is there it is. Now that they've gotten the projectile damage, they have to get Dead. that final word with the smash attack and the up throw is going to do enough to get one stock off. And so eel mail has done a lot for their team at this point, making sure that Western Colorado is not fully out of the woods into this next fight and already getting a lot of damage against there it is here up tilt still can't do the job 50 percent waning away 156 for eomel that up air isn't gonna land so we can still land back up smash doesn't land but we can get a lot of damage into the down b oh eomel is really trying to chain this out to find one more stock and there's no reflector now so if he can find a solid amount of poison damage like he just did he can do a lot but there it is will get the finisher with the forward arrow and it is eight to seven now. Will Wichita State keep their lead? There it is. It's going to be facing a new counter. Yeah, and with two stocks as well, that's not what you want to do. Team Link, or a lot of the links like to be in the lead in most scenarios. So hopefully, right? Hopefully they are able to, I guess, adapt fast enough. That's the important part. They need to adapt fast. That's the thing about a lot of links. A lot of links need to either get the download ASAP or be in the lead. So I think Young Link can do it. Young Link can definitely do it. Yeah, well, here's the thing is, is Young Link, we have, we, it's a solid matchup for sure uh, against the Piranha Plant. But when you come into this next matchup against people from WCU, you have, well, first of all, you have Mild Knights, who is also a Young Link. So we could very yeah. well see a Young Link ditto here in just a three stock versus two stock. Or, you know, they could say, screw it, throw up bolts now, get an early finisher if they want to, if they really want to throw everything at the wall here to see what sticks. Bolts might just be a solid option to, to make sure that there it is, can't even get that much damage in. Yeah, that's really good. But I'm trying to think, a Young Link Ditto could work, like you said. Mid, not, Mild Knights, I'm sorry. Mild Knights. How many stocks they take last time? They took zero stocks last week, actually. Zero. Okay, in that case. Because I think they that... went against, I, yeah. Yeah, they took zero off. Who they who they play against? I don't know who they played against. I don't remember who they played against. I let me see. Was it, what was the, was what it was the schedule for the last speed? week's show? Was it the speed? I think it was. I think it was. Uh, it Gamble very Bowl. well may have been. No, 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 no. It wasn't because no, was it? Let me see. So it was. So who played? It wasn't. So it was. It might have been the rub. It was a rub. That's what I remember. Western Colorado versus Wichita State. It wasn't S sticks. 
Um, so wait, who are we talking? We're talking about WCU. They played yeah. against. So Western Colorado was- played against Campbellsville yesterday, and Campbellsville had academics Pope, Cody, Bump, and Estix. Oh, they played against Estix. That's why he played I'm against like, Estix. What? Yeah, he played against the Rob. Yeah, yeah Mountain Lions played against the Rob. So we could see the Mountain Lions. We could see the Min Min come out. Uh, we could. See, is there anybody else we mm-hmm. can see? Oh, Rick John could still pull out the PT. Yeah, it's gonna be Rick John on the Pokemon trainer for this match in the 3v2. And straight up, go, straight up just going to the Ivy Sword, not even bothering with the the throw Squirtle, bro. And <laughs> I, I think Ivy Sword can actually do quite alright in this matchup. Mm-hmm. Um, you, what's it called? Razor, Razor Leaf does stop Boomerang, and it does stop yeah. the arrows as well. So, oh, we saw the upper come out. Not gonna get it. That's alright. Not to mention you have the range. Oh my god, gotta hit him with that up. He's trying to whip my boy into shape, but not gonna get it. A lot of damage already coming out on both fronts, but uh, I, I, here's the thing is Rick John has to take care with going in. That Razor Leaf does not hold a candle to all the projectiles that there it is has. And yeah, that's, that's proving itself. My god, 91%. Could there it is get another stock off here? Could I mean could we see another positive trade? I mean I could totally see there it is coming out of this in, in maybe a, a, a 7v3. I believe as well. And the fact that they have these confirms on lock, right? I arrow to forward air. It's simple, but ooh, you know, could have killed their down air. Down air would have done the yeah. deep. Up air definitely works. I see the vision. Don't get it twisted. I see the vision. <laughs> see the oh, I don't no. see that vision. I don't know no. that. Oh, and the tea bag. Oh, there it is, no. and there he goes. One more <laughs> stock left. Rick John having the work done for them after being in such a bad spot percentage wise. And rest assured, they still are 141. But since there it is, is it about 0% going on the Charizard? Doesn't seem like oh, the greatest Lord. option. Gotta rack up that damage, and with Ivy Sword, you can definitely do that. Yeah, you're, you're not at the point where Charizard is necessary, right? Rack up the damage, and plus you're just giving yourself a bigger hurt box. So, playing Ivy Sword, you're a bit smaller. Not even big, you're way smaller than Charizard is. Ooh, barely a boy's gonna hit that up, but that would have definitely killed as well. Up smash, not gonna happen. Back air, gonna save the day. There's that neutral air. Link me, stop going for up smash, please. Twitter guys, smash good. Ooh, down air, unless you're tuning. Ooh, goes for that back row. Wants to throw again? Nope, not gonna get it. 163% coming on to your man. He's, uh, he's, he's got to play so cautiously because you got to remember Rick John. Rick John doesn't want to lose his stock here. He want to he wants to walk into this at a 6-6 six to six game. WCU wants to keep every last stock. But when you watch the fights these this intense, you have to, it, it gets hard to remember that we're watching a crew battle. We're watching a game where every yeah. single stock from every single team member counts to the fullest. And so even at 189%, this is still a stock. And now that it's gone, WCU is still going to be at a deficit going into this next matchup. But Rick John is going to make it at as little of a deficit as possible. As it's 121, the Charizard's out. Just about any move could KO here. Yeah, back row, up B, freaking side B. You're a goner. Quarter off the... Yeah, there I was yep, waiting for that. There I, was, it is. I was, I was low-key waiting for that. I'm like, he's just going to armor through it. <laughs> if you can read when they're going to do it, you go through that. And you straight up drill his way into success. And now, good stuff coming on to Rick John. Five to six. Not bad at all. It's one stock difference. That's not yeah. that bad. So Western Colorado has lessened the blow for sure, and Rick John has gone positive to say the least. But now with Wichita State, they still have Linny, and they still have Yggdrasil. They still have two whole people left, and that really terrifies me against this PT because, I, I again, I think Rick John has not really mastered proper management of the cycling of the Pokemon. I think... They still need some time to get that down. I don't think they're fully on that yet, and that really scares me when you go into a matchup against somebody like a Greninja or, God forbid, a Mega Man. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Maybe Mega Man. I think I think, Mega Man... I think Linny is going to be the better option here against Pokemon Trainer. I yeah. think that Mega Man gets more out of, out of the fight. I don't think that Greninja... As, especially because with Greninja, you can kind of swap to Squirtle and avoid a lot of the damage coming your way in the beginning of that fight, which means that Greninja is constantly going to be behind in that ramp. But with Mega Man, you can launch a lot at Squirtle and warrant the switch to Ivysaur early. Or like we saw last time that Rick John played in the last crew battle, they don't switch off a of Greninja and they die a lot earlier, which I'm sure that Linny would be perfectly fine with either way. Or I think Greninja would actually be kind of okay for this matchup. I mean, it's 
the same song and dance, right? You go for damage, you go for trades. It's kind of like I, I'd say Go Ninja have a lot more range than what's his name, uh, PT does, right? Mm -hmm. So dash attack. If Scorpio tries to get in on you, cool. I'll just you know dash attack or go for a nair. Because we talk, we talk about dash attack a lot, but nair is also a really good anti air option. It's really safe on shield too. Even though I do think Squirtle could punish it if he missed, but if he misspaces it or doesn't counter right, then he is going to be in trouble. So we could see that happen. Or like you said, why approach and bloop, 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 Mega Man comes out, destroy your <laughs> razors, side B, use your leaf shield. We all know he's nice with it. We know he's nice with it. So yeah, that could be an option. They, they got they got tools. They got tools for the for yeah, the screw battles. And and both members in Linny and Yggdrasil took more stocks last week than the amount of stocks that uh, Western Colorado has left at the moment, which, I mean, when you look at the numbers raw and unfiltered from this very first week, that has to kind of put a bit of a pit in your stomach if you're Western Colorado. I mean, you had such an amazing story last week, and you're walking into this next match on that high, but can you ride it to yep. the hills? Yggdrasil is trying to make sure that the ride ends very quickly as we begin the 6v5 matchup. Yeah, man. Now, this is also a really good Greninja stage as well, because there's no platforms you can hide under. Good stuff. Dash attack into up smash. Oh, Squirtle. Oh, Squirtle. Squirtle, just Squirtle. Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle. Squirtle. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, hold on. Let's go, Squirtle. Okay, maybe the Squirtle's doing something. Down Squirtle. throw. Squirtle. Uh, B. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. A, 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 a. You gotta, you know, you gotta optimize where you can when you're Squirtle against an agile character like Greninja. And Yggdrasil has already shown that she can absolutely manage this Greninja to its full potential. And the Rick John knows that, knows that he needs to switch early if he wants to get out of this alive. Brings out the Ivysaur, but Yggdrasil's just gonna keep on punching 90%. Oh, I love Greninja so much. Greninja that so was much. So, oh, that was Greninja so cool. cool. Exactly what you need to get that early stock to get an early stock. You just have to be careful. She is dealing with the killer of this group. The Charizard is out, the fangs are out, but the bigger you are, the bigger your hurt box. And Greninja will definitely take advantage of that. Look how interesting it's just all over this man. She is all over. Oh, whoa, 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 we're good, we're good. Hey, the what? bigger they are, the harder they fall. This biggity boy is a diggity dog. Straight up bars. 108%. Oh, 108 to 90. Flare Blitz uh, dodge. Uh, uh, that's it. That. That's that's it. That. Rick John put everything into the Flare Blitz. Why would you do that, man? That's that, I get the mindset. That wasn't it. <laughs> that, that really wasn't it. I understand it. why you thought that, but also, you should not have thought that, Rick John. Young Link, Young Link is different because the moment Young Link's in the arrow, he has to commit. Greninja yeah. shoots an arrow. They can literally teleport like, oh. Oh, I see you're gonna. God, that drag down. I love Greninja drag downs. They're so clean. And Yggdrasil, she's done them over and over and over and over and over again. She's so nice with it. It is unreal. So now, full person ahead. Which does state they don't care who Western Colorado brings in. I would, though, because it's probably gonna be Bolts. Uh huh. And sorry, if you know what happened last time, Bolt made like a four man comeback. Like, bruh, four people came through, and Bolts just ran through them like a hot knife through butter. So, let's see if Idrisil, let's see if she can take out the minutes before it's too late, and if not, it's going to be the go Lenny. So, I'm excited. I like both these players, and I, I, I like all these players. I like Bolts, I like Idrisil. And I like Lenny, so I'm just seeing all my fan favorites right now. Yeah, no, this this matchup, I'm I'm sure we're not gonna see the last of it because both of these rosters are packed to the brim. There's a reason they both won their first crew battles last week. It's yep. because they have the power to back it up, and they're gonna continue through the, the the rest of this series with that kind of power. We're gonna see them meet again. We're gonna see this kind of intensity br brush forth again. It it is gonna be a wild ride. But we are still on this one right now, and. Wichita State still has two big players up their sleeve. One of them already has been revealed in Yggdrasil. We may see Bolts come out from Western Colorado. They may pull someone else out if Bolts isn't feeling it because Greninja's matchup against Min Min is still not even that bad. Yeah, it's not even terrible. So let's see how this works out for either of these players. It's I'm not saying it's going to be tough, but let's see how this can work for Yggdrasil. Greninja is not bad whatsoever. Greninja is an amazing character, for sure. I think Greninja in Smash 4 and in Smash Ultimate are, is continuously underrated because I don't think 
there's a lot of players that really try to optimize Greninja that are in the that are in kind of the upper echelon. You see a lot of like tier two Greninjas wreak havoc, and we're seeing that right now. Yggdrasil is proving that Greninja has so much merit. However, a lot of players, I I think that they either think that Greninja's tools are used better by another character, or they think that there's too many counters, there's too many situational endeavors that can get Greninja killed pretty early because Greninja is also quite light. Um, a, a lot of moves are a little relatively committal, but uh, again, there's so much power and so much agility in a lot of these moves. The Shadow Sneak can be a great recovery tool as well. You have so many mix-ups that you can do, and those up-air dragdowns and the jab lock forward smash is like a free 40%, and it's so juicy. Yggdrasil is going to be facing Bolts, the final yeah. boss of WCU's roster, but already 42%, some absolute madness coming from WSU's Greninja. And actually, you know what I've heard from the Grapevine? This matchup isn't that bad for Greninja, as a matter of fact. I said this matchup is like more than even. Oh, good, Antier coming on from both. Straight up playing Street Fighter right now with the Shore You can Great option, or Guilty Gear with 6 feet. Wouldn't be more expensive, <laughs> but 89% coming on to both right now. And you're on a flat stage as well. Greninja likes these flat stages, but so does Min Min. So you're kind of playing, it's just a matter of who's the better player in this scenario right now. No one has a clear advantage. Min Min definitely has a range advantage, but the moment Greninja gets in, it's gonna be a big issue. But we're already seeing Bolts with the adaptation, using the Megawatt Nair to make sure that uh, Yuka Shield knows that, yo, you cannot play in the air. I know you wanna go for those floaters, I know you wanna go for those nares, but if you want to do that, guess what? I got some Nikes coming right your way. The hardest part that Yggdrasil has to deal with, she can get a lot of damage in first on the Bolts, but the second that Bolts warrants that Megawatt coming out, then Yggdrasil can't really travel anywhere. The Nair covers the air, and any attack on the ground covers that dash attack and that grab approach that Yggdrasil loves so That's much, smart. along with Greninja. It's a stock for a stock potentially here, as it's a nice run back to the forward smash. Yggdrasil keeping things even and Bolts down to two stocks. And the thing is, we know Bolts is a fiend, bro. Good stuff. Able to jump out of that combo. Usually what happens is you use your jump and you just eat an up smash and you're, you know, in trouble for like a fat minute. You're in disadvantage, but no. What the? The, the tongue? That wins? Oh, uh, you're not oh, dead, but... Oh, no. She waited too long, but still 57%. That's insane. Yeah, you're still good. Only 64. That's rather... That's a lot of damage. Now, you gotta be careful because you are Greninja, so Greninja has a point where, you know, if you go for these kill options, up smash, no, we saw it come out. You gotta be careful, because now Greninja might be losing right now. Even though the you might be saying, well, the, the, the percent's high, but the thing is, right, Greninja at high percent actually isn't that good because they need to get raw kills also. Watch that shield. Good forward air, gonna slash her in the back. Yes, Greninja, you're fine. Back oh, yeah, she's working the air. The I That was a great forward air. But, yeah, like you said, once you're up there in the percents, you, you have a little bit of trouble killing. The drag downs have been great for Yggdrasil to get quick finishers, but Bolts isn't really allowing that on that Min Min because the Megawatt takes so much control over Hello. the territory oh. once Yggdrasil and Greninja even get to around 50%, and the back air finishes things off. I'm pretty sure that was the Dragon as well. I don't know if it was the Megawatt. Oh, but the what forward air finisher... Yggdrasil is letting Bolts know that while she is not taking stocks first, she is still taking names. And all, all you gotta do is set your homie up. That's all you gotta do. Set your homie up for success. But the damage is tacking on. I don't wanna say Yggdrasil, she's tapped out, but the damage is there. Dash attack, dash attack again. Why not just do it again? We know that he likes to jump out of those combos. Bolts taking notes as he plays, took notes before, doesn't take mental notes as he's playing the game right now, but 52% right now, only 69 on to Yggdrasil, this isn't bad whatsoever, Greninja is lighter for sure, but the moment they get a drag down or maybe a good air dodge read or jump read with that floater, they are in a lot of trouble, and now you have Min, Min against the ropes, can go for an edge guard if you want to, but no, Oxus do stage control, we saw that, what a smart read from Such Yggdrasil, a great coverage. go no way, get out! And that is gonna be it. <laughs> Min Min's weakness is water, and with that, Yggdrasil will take out the demon wow. most good stuff. Uh, that was just an incredible finisher there from Yggdrasil. It was rapid, it was quick, it was out of nowhere. 
just like how you should play Greninja. The territorial gameplay with that water story again. Out of the double forward smash as well. Yggdrasil just never let up. Not for one second. And it showed off. And honestly, I am so glad because Linny, I think, would have had a really bad time against this Min Min. Regardless of how many stocks Bolts had left. We've seen how Bolts does under pressure. And the matchup against Mega Man, I don't think is in Linny's favor. So I'm so glad that Yggdrasil could nip this in the bud. Clear out the win for Wichita State. And nab a 2-0 record. For her school absolutely phenomenal play coming on from your girl Idrisil. but that is going to be the end of the crew battle people don't go anywhere tenric any remarks you want to say that that was so fun to watch was, man uh, it's just a they gorgeous were so matchup. even no, so I, even. I cannot wait to see not only Idrisil versus bolts again because i know we haven't seen the last of that matchup bolts is gonna want to rematch and he's going to come back even stronger with a vengeance I cannot wait to see Wichita State and Western Colorado duke it out once more. I think these are probably, and I'm, I know this is calling it early, but I'm thinking these are probably the best two teams we have in this yep. series right now. I think yep. it's close, but I think they're the best two. When we come back, a member of the winning team, Wichita State, will be joining us for an interview. Don't go anywhere. We'll be